Here is a tutorial on how to use Rixoff Scan Chart Planner for Confluence. Once you install the application from the Alassian Marketplace, you can move on to your Gantt chart by going on your Confluence page and you'll see something similar to this. Click on the edit icon to open up your Gantt chart planner and here's how the Gantt chart planner would look like. To create a new task, you press the create button on the top left hand side of the screen and you can edit the task by selecting the edit button. Here we have sections such as general, predecessors, successors, advanced options, and notes that you could write for the selected task. You can also delete the selected task, indent the selected task, outdent the selected task, clear the constraints of the selected task, undo your last action, and redo the last undone action. Over here you can expand all your tasks, collapse all your tasks, and in this section you can zoom into the Gantt chart zoom out of it and you can zoom to fit the page. Here we have features such as showing the progress lines, showing the critical paths, showing the baselines, and showing the resource view. In the column section, you could adjust the columns to the needs of your project. If you needed to see the percentage of the tasks that are completed, you could select the percent done. And here you would be able to see that in this project, 50% of the task is completed. Over here in the filter section, you could use the filter section to find a specific task. In, the, in this section, you could export the file in a CSV format as well. In the settings, you could change general, the calendar of which working days you want to fit to your Gantt chart, and you can set it to default view. You can also drag and drop dependencies by dragging, dragging and dropping and you can see that a new line has been created. If you found this video helpful, please feel free to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment if you would like. Thank you so much.